know, fungus is everywhere. And so, you know, it doesn't mean that you're dirty or that you did something wrong. Um, it could be because you, you know, had some type of trauma to your nail. And then when that, that kind of barrier between the nail and the skin underneath is disrupted, then fungus can kind of creep into that area. And so that's how most of the time we get, you know, a fungal infection, or it could be, you know, our immune system um, is not working, whether we're really stressed or we have some other type of um, disorder like diabetes or rheumatoid arthritis or psoriatic arthritis that kind of lowers our immune system, and that opens us up to a fungal infection. And so once you notice that, you know, your nails are discolored, you know, they may be crumbly, um, they may have ridges in them and various uh, things, and you figure out, hey, you know, how do I treat them? And so what a lot of people do, they will go to CVS or any other drugstore, Walgreens, and they pick up topical antifungals because that's what's available over the counter. Nice. Um, I tell people that if your nails aren't that involved, if there's just like a little bit of yellow and it's not that thick, then topicals can actually work okay. Okay. The biggest thing is that when you're using a topical antifungal, you have to use it for a long time. You can't like and then think that that is going to work. One and done. <laughs> Not going to happen. You, you got most antifungals. You got to use, you know, at least like six months to know the difference. And that's why a lot of times we think they don't work. It's just because people stop using. Them. And so you know, most people will get you know a month, maybe two. Mm -hmm. And human nature, if you think something's not working, you're just going to stop using it. And so right. the big thing is being persistent when you're using topical antifungals. Um, and if you have a minor infection, maybe one or two nails involved, a topical antifungal may be able to work.